Uh, well, this, I've been asked for this so many times since I last did it here a couple of years ago. You'll all have forgotten Travel Pass. Yeah. Oh, that's good. No, it isn't. No, no, it's not good. You're supposed to be, oh! I thought it would cheer you up at Christmas. That's it. Now, we know that. now that I've got my pensioners pass, I can sit on a bus and admire ass whenever I wish. Retired, I intend to become a connoisseur of the masculine bunk. Double deckers are what I prefer. Getting that seat at the foot of the stair that the highly considerate powers that be have designated for people like me. Modern designers have helped as well, producing clothes that enhance the swell and anatomical curve and dip of a flattened tum or a rounded hip. And then so few wear long coats today, one can really study the stretch and sway as the helpful driver throws them around a quite unnecessary bend or tightens hamstrings with a jerk of sudden speed or sudden break. I heard a giggle over there, it's just reminded me two of my sons are listening to this. <laughs> I think I'll forget page two. <laughs> Sometimes, as they wait to alight, they are caught on the stairs at just the height to meet my eye without the need to satisfy my visual greed by moving my arthritic neck at all. Those sideways seats at the front. Oh, hang on, I missed the line. Oh God, I'm always doing that. I, I must really try and remember them. Uh, all right, we feel about moving my arthritic neck at all. But then the single deck will do. Those sideways seats at the front that nobody ever seems to want give a vista down the central aisle of the coming and going of the male and young. Often too, they stand beside the driver close to hand. <laughs> These should prove ideal conditions. When age has lowered my inhibitions to um, stroke or poke or pinch an ass, who would expect a pensioner's pass? 